Well, Governor Mark Dayton vetoed a bill last week, last week uh, designed to improve the wild rice sulfate standard in Minnesota. The current water sulfate standard is nearly 45 years old and has never been implemented. Local Representative Dale Lewick has been working for years to try to replace the old standard. And after last week's veto from the governor, he says he's disappointed, but he'll keep on fighting. It's a frustrating thing when you, when you don't go back and get rid of old things that are outdating, they come back to haunt you. We're going to turn a new page one way or the other uh, come this November. So we'll have a new governor. Um, I would anticipate we'll have new uh, commissioners pretty much throughout all, uh, all the agencies. So that gives us a fresh start. Um, I can say 10 years, stop and think about this, 10 years we've been bouncing this ball around and we still haven't got it completely figured out. So we'll just keep working on it. Governor Dayton did establish a task force on wild rice that included some elements of the bill, but that order will expire 90 days after the governor leaves office. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.